हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू यू ऑल ऑन आर ब्रांड न्यू चैनल नेम्ड सर्वे ज्ञान बाई सर्वे यान दिस चैनल हैज़ बीन बेसिकली क्रिएटेड टू इम्पार्ट नॉलेज रिलेटेड टू ड्रोन सर्वे यूज ऑफ डे टू डे सॉफ्टवेयर लाइक ऑटो कैड क्यू जी आई एस एक्सेट्रा एंड हाउ टू कनेक्ट द ड्रोन्स विद दीज सॉफ्टवेयर एज वी ऑल नो ड्रोन्स आर बिकमिंग क्वाइट कॉमन नावर्ट इज एंड इट मेक सेंस ऑल्सो बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स स्पीड एंड एक्यूरेसी Surveying can be very tedious and risky task and drones duly take care of it. When surveying a large area say like 200 hectares it may even take 20 days to 1 month whereas drone would merely take 3 to 4 days to complete the same. With government of India also devising new laws and policies to ease the use of drones increase in drone survey would be obvious. Having said that I just want to make a quick introduction on our company. that nibrus technology is one of the leading drone manufacturers and provide affordable and reliable drones that can measure your land very precisely on top of that we have surveyan geo workspace where you can view your surveyed land and perform measurements like area volume you can generate contours and export ortho mosaic and digital elevation model file i'll show you the glimpses of it I'll be logging into my account. By default a demo project has been created. I'll open the project explorer. So you can see that an ortho mosaic is already there. So I'll go to the measurement tools and first I'll get an area of the land. so you get the area now i'll be calculating the 2d and the 3d distances then i'll see the elevation profile of the pit now i'll be calculating the volume of a area and lastly we have this location tool which gives you the latitude longitude and the altitude of the location so that was just a brief introduction but our main motto of this video is to announce that we are starting a new video series on how to make use of autocad software after the drone survey has been done and this video will be just an introductory video on how we will be shaping our series you guys also do comment on what are the tools you use in autocad and what are the problems you face we'll try to simplify it and make tutorials on it we have chosen first the autocad software because it is the industry in standard people not only use it for measurement purposes but they also use it for planning designing and other analysis purpose so we felt that with the increase of use of drones people should get easily adapted on how to use photogrammetry based results like ortho mosaic dm point cloud and 3d model files in autocad so before moving further just wanted to let you guys know that i will be using few words in the coming series very frequently which i feel needs to be discussed beforehand so first of all what is an ortho mosaic or ortho photo or some people also say ortho map so it's a just a detailed photo representation of an area drone collects a lot of photos and photogrammetry software processes it so after stitching a lot of photos a uh, ortho mosaic is generated so i'll just show you a example of ortho mosaic in our geo workspace which is processed by our engine so this is the ortho mosaic generated by our photogrammetry software you can see that the all the photos have been stitched together to make a single ortho map i have exported the same in our qgis software you can see that the ortho map contains only x and y coordinate the second thing is digital elevation model or dm it is a 3d representation of the terrain elevation found on the earth surface previously you saw 
orthomosaic contain only x and y coordinate but now this dm contains a, an extra attribute called elevation so when you look at a dm you will see a layer symbolized by a color ramp uh, from the previous demo project i have downloaded the dm and i have loaded it into qgis software so you can see that this map has been colored based on the elevation of the land and you can see the scale bar also so this map contains x y and z coordinates the third thing is contour which i think you guys are very familiar with it is just a imaginary line which are connected at an equal elevation uh, so a land can contain same elevation at different points so these points are connected by a single line and this is what we call a contour the fourth thing is a point cloud it is a set of data points in space the points represent a 3d shape or an object for the same project i have downloaded the point cloud and loaded it in qgis so we can see that the point cloud contains many million points they are so close to each other that it almost almost represents like a, a ortho mosaic and when we use a total station these points get limited to hundreds or thousands so we see that the accuracy and the precision increases when we have such a good point cloud now finally we have a 3d object file and this this is created by converting the 3d point cloud into a 3d mesh you can view a 3d object file in any of the 3d e viewing software now that you are familiar with the terms i'll be telling you briefly about the videos which will be released in further weeks the first video which i am thinking to make is how to import ortho mosaic into autocad and perform few basic calculations the second video will be related to contours how it can be generated to surveyan geo workspace and if you don't use our workspace then also it's not a problem we'll see how to interpret these contour lines the third will third video will be related to point cloud i'll be using autodesk recap software and so make sure that you guys have already installed it before the video releases the last video will be related to digitizing the ortho map we'll be creating different layers and digitizing features of interest such as roads buildings hydrology vegetation etc this could help in planning or designing so i think this is enough for the introductory video and my aim would remain to make videos as short as possible with much of the explanation having said that let's end this video here and you don't forget to like subscribe and share also click on the bell icon to get the notification for each video as soon as it releases stay safe and healthy and stay tuned for the next video in the coming week thank you